Hey, my loves, it's me, Keisha, and I'm here with this week's All Tea, All Shea, Real Housewives of Miami, Season 5, Reunion Part 3. I drop videos Monday through Sunday. Everything that I say is for entertainment purposes only, not to be taken seriously or literally meaning my jokes. So if that works for you, let's get into this review. So, Part 3 of the reunion, Lisa admits that Lenny used the parties that they had at their house to pick up other women. She fully gets it she was in denial and I mean mistakes were made but could she really say no and he was gonna do it anyway you know what I'm saying but hindsight is 2020 I guess so we also find out that Larsa helped her get the restraining order that Lenny's mistress filed against her dropped <laughs> and I don't like Larsa aka Liza child uh, for a lot of reasons, but I will say that she has been a good friend to Lisa regarding this whole affair situation and having her back. So I will give her that. Andy then as Alexia and Nicole has the situation between Todd and Anthony dissolve. Like, have they made up? And Alexia was like, we saw them at Carbone doing Art Basel. And once again, Anthony, I mean, Antonia, because he's a chick, because we don't know what will come out of his mouth. He started disrespecting, saying the only people that have real jobs is he and Nicole. And Nicole was like, that is not how it went. We were at the bar and Alexia walk up wagging her finger, telling me some, you guys are in trouble. And Andy was looking like, yeah, that's you. You did it. You did it. So you started with them, girl, and trying to make it seem like somebody started with you. You and Todd and his buzz haircut can kick rocks. Please, please, barefooted. Oh, my gosh, she is annoying. And then she went as far to call that man a B. And I'm like, what is wrong with you? Are you OK? Like, really? I'm starting to think that this lady has literally fell and bumped her head because where is the old Alexia? She is just so nasty. Ugh. So, Larsa's <laughs> braids doing their vacation comes up. And Andy asks that she feel like she was culturally appropriating. And she says no because she's not white. And her mixed kids get their hair braided every 10 days. <laughs> Y'all let that marinate in y'all spirit. All I got to say is, you know, now a lot of white girls, Latino, Chinese getting braids or whatever. It's weird to see it. You know what I'm saying? Because it was exclusively such a just a black girl thing for so long. Um, so it is sometimes weird to see it. Some girls rock it and look really good. However, Larsa did not. She looked like a fool. <laughs> she looked like an absolute fool with them thick, heavy braids in her head. Whoever did that did not like her and they made them look like that on purpose to embarrass her. So she need not never do that again. That is not the look for her, honey. I don't care how many mixed kids you got and I don't care how um you not white, you looked a fool. So uh Julia apologizes to Kiki before she leaves off stage for their little tiff or whatever. And I was happy because I like both of those ladies. Gertie was named one of Brid Bridal Magazine's top decorators in the world. And I was like, yes, because she is that chick and she does know how to decorate a party, okay? Gertie has also scaled down her business from doing 15 weddings to five a year because she's really focusing on her husband and her children. Baby, she got the warning and she took heed. She said, I ain't trying to lose my man. <laughs> I know that's right, Gertie. She loved Russell. She loved that white man, child. He got benefits. He a fireman. He got benefits. She ain't going nowhere. <laughs> okay. So Adriana, Alexia, and Marisol segment comes up. And Marisol starts crying after watching their montage. And she was like, because, you know, we really used to be friends. And I just don't know why she would do something like that to me. And I'm like, don't act like you are the victim and that you haven't played a part in the demise of y'all friendship. Y'all treat that girl like she's the ugly stepchild. Like y'all don't want to have nothing to do with her. Y'all have excommunicado her like y'all are in a John Wick movie. Adriana regrets saying that, you know, Marisol's ex didn't love her. And she was like, it came out wrong. I was trying to prove my loyalty. I feel like she was trying to prove her loyalty. But at the same token, she was trying to hurt Marisol. She really was. So um, Adriana was like, how many times, Alexia, did I reach out to get together to have lunch? And you were so mean to me. And Alexia was like, you know why? Because you're a fraud. You're a fake. You're a fraud. You're a fake. And I'm like, Adriana, like, I get it. Y'all were close at one point. 
But obviously things have changed and you just got to let it go. They don't mean you no good. They don't like you. So why are you begging for a friendship that just honestly isn't there? And I wouldn't even want to be friends with anybody like that. Concentrate on the people that do like you, do want to spend time with you. Concentrate on your friendship with Julia, the budding friendship that you have with Nicole and Gertie. You know, you and Lisa are tight. Focus on that. Why do you want to be friends with them? They're horrible people. They're horrible. So forget them. And um, Adriana ankle comes up and Nicole says her ankle really was swollen and blue. So, okay, now I believe it. And Nicole said it, all right. The Frankie situation comes up with the poor analogy that Adriana used. And of course, she was 100% wrong for saying it. Adriana was like, I said it to relate to you. And Nicole was like, it was almost like she was having a panic, panic attack in that moment because we were trying to like drill it in her head that what she said was wrong, but it just wasn't going through. Like she was like, it took a minute for her to actually like come out of it and realize that what she said was messed up. So Alexi was like, yeah, but she texted me my bad. Now, yeah, that's crazy. Like you just don't text nobody my bad <laughs> over something so serious. So Julie was like, you know, what's the difference between Adriana and the rest of us? She's alone. She's single. And the other side of the couch is like, I'm trying to make that excuse. Da, 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 da. And yeah, you can't continue to make that excuse. There's plenty of single people out there that don't behave the way Adriana does sometimes. But Julie was like, you know, she's in a bad place mentally. I do think that she's in a bad place mentally. I do think that she's yearning for companionship and friendship. And it's hurting her that she does not have that type of relationship anymore with Marisol and Alexia. And she's crying out and they just simply don't care. And that's so messed up. And anybody with two eyes can see that Adriana is really hurting. And the fact that Alexia and Marisol could care less, once again, proves that you don't need them as friends. Julia, Lisa, and Gertie all agree that she really is in a bad mental state. Like they've had one-on-one -on -one conversations with her and understand where she's going through. Like she's really going through a bad time mentally. And that's not nothing to play around with when people are saying like, hey, my mental health is suffering. I need help. You know what I'm saying? And Lisa got it because she was like, I'm in the same. She was like, you know, Lisa is in the same place that I'm in. Like Lisa gets it now. And Lisa was like, I do, but. Alexia, uh, Alexia and Marisol still did not care. So Marisol was like, you know, you turn dark. And I'm like, says the person that literally drinks nothing but alcohol all day and starts stuff between people. Girl, get your life. So Adriana was like, I'm not going to take this to heart because you're unwell. I received a letter from someone um, that says that you do mean things to them and that you still do. And so she gives this letter to Andy and Andy is reading it. And in the letter, the person is saying how Marisol abuses them morning, noon and night, and sometimes in the afternoon and it's hurting them. And they're probably going to get X'd out because of this signed your liver. <laughs> and everybody was looking like really Adriana, really? Yo, that was funny. That was funny, yo. It was funny because that need to go in the clubhouse immediately. And he was like, yeah, I'm keeping this. It was funny. It was it was whack. It was lame. It was legendary. It was all of those things in one. Because like, lady, how are you surviving off nothing but alcohol? You've admitted that you barely eat. And all games and jokes aside, what Adriana was saying was true. And she even called Alexia out for enabling her drinking like you this supposed to be your best friend, but you just sit by idly and watch her destroy herself for what? You know, that's not being a good friend. And the fact that she's promoting this type of healthy lifestyle on television, it's crazy to me. And she does need to be called out for it. You want to call out everybody else, but you over here living crazy. So Marisol, Alexi, and Adriana say nice things to each other at the end of the reunion. Larsa agrees to start over with Nicole. Mind you, Nicole sat there on mute because she already see Larsa for her works. And she ain't trying with that heifer no more. And I don't blame her. And that was pretty much it um, for the third part of the reunion. Um, overall, I'm going to give season five of The Real Housewives of Miami an A-minus. 
Um, it was a really good, solid season between the Lisa and Lenny situation. Alexia acting like a donkey. Marisol drinking herself into like a stupor. Larsa and her idiotic shenanigans. Um, this season, I really want to say that uh, Gertie was the most valuable player. She really stepped up to the plate this season, sticking up for herself. Julia um, just is a gem and it's so sweet. It came out this week that Martina is cancer-free. God is so good. That's a blessing for them. You know, I love Nicole. I love Lisa. Love Kiki, even though I don't like that she sided with the ops, but I still like her. This is a solid cast, a solid, solid cast. They don't need to add nobody. Keep this cast the way that it is. I'm super excited about season six. They have been renewed. So the ladies really stepped up and really did the dang on thing. But what I don't want to see happen in Miami is for us to have another Fox 5 situation on our hands with Alexia, Larsa, and Marisol and possibly Kiki. They are mean girls and especially Larsa, Alexia and Marisol. It's like they think they're the OGs and they can say and do whatever they want. And it's kind of like they bully and like try to run the other girls because they're newbies outside of Adriana. Um, and I don't like it. I don't like it. We don't want another show like that. I can't deal with it. I hope Alexia comes back next season with her mind on right because I can't take another season of her delusions and the stupid stuff that she says and does. I simply cannot. Um, I really want to see Gertie and Nicole uh, have each other's backs and come in next season, guns are blazing and getting these girls together, like straight up. I, I need for those four on that, on that couch to come in banded together, going against them other ones and not giving them any rest okay y'all let me know down below in the comment section what did you think about the reunion what did you think about the overall season let's talk down below make sure to thumbs up this video like and subscribe and hit that notification bell button i love you guys and i'll see you on the next video bye